can get behind fresh berries in just about anything, but in small batch soda, using all natural ingredients, it's all the better. We love the name Hot Lips because it's memorable and it's fun. And it's sexy and it's hot. It's just fruit, organic lemon juice, cane sugar, and sparkling water. It's really tasty. Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Gina, and we make soda. Hot Lips soda. And pizza. <laughs> We're so square. Hot Lips Pizza started in 1984 by my father, Alfred Edelman, and a couple of other guys. 16, 17, 18. 21. Gina and I have been running the company <laughs> for 21 years. <laughs> In 2003, we brewed our first batch of real fruit soda. Dave had a totally crazy idea that we could brew our own soda pop. Green, our chef and brewer, went to the farmer's market and came back with a couple of flats of raspberries. We made soda pop and we put it in a keg and people went nuts. And then we thought, oh my God, now we really have a situation because we've not only done a crazy thing, but now it's been a hit. And they were all in kegs until 2008. We started bottling. We currently sell our soda all over the country, online or in 400 different retailers. We're here in the brewing capital of the world, the micro-brewing capital of the world. And we got a lot of help from uh, friends in microbreweries. And a lot of it was actually trial and error. Today we're gonna make strawberry, which is gonna be a real limited edition. It's a huge favorite. It's really hard to make. One thing is that the strawberries don't have natural acidity. So it's, it's really hard to get the balance. And it's super pulpy, but it's so delicious. We take the fruit, put it in the kettle, and we add sugar and add some water, heat it up to dissolve the sugar. The first tasting is about sugar, and is the sugar amount correct? We make an adjustment there with sugar and lemon juice, so it's, we get just the right flavor. We pump it through a carbonator where the CO2 is added, the bottles are filled, and it runs through the pasteurizer. About 45 minutes later, out they come. One of the interesting things about making soda from live food is that every time it's a little bit different. You know, the berries are a little different, they're a little sweeter, a little sour, a little pulpier. So this is an artisanal food, and we're not guaranteeing that every single bottle is going to be the same. Black raspberry, lemon apple. I think that's it. I think oh, it's 11. Boysenberry, oh, there's baby. 12. That's my favorite. Last year we made 10,000 cases. We're hoping to make 20,000 this year. And that's about 50,000 gallons. We're feeling the love. <laughs> no large soda company would be crazy enough to try what we're doing. Every batch is unique. We are very, very lucky to have been handed down a, a pizza company. And then the soda extends out into the world and uh, people have no idea anything about Hot Lips Pizza. So then it's just the soda all by itself, incredible fresh fruit, and people love it. Oh, that's good. Ice cream sandwiches is the best business because